one's reluctant to generalize, but I think it, it does, one can draw certain inferences from, from that. The permanent laws, in some measure, offer those affected by um, censorship decisions a, a measure of appeal, a right of appeal, as is the case with the Publications Appeal Board. Those are processes which lawyers participate in, in which one can argue the case, in which one can lead evidence if necessary. They are open public proceedings and one has a fair chance of fighting a decision. The emergency regulations, by contrast, seem to serve a, a very different purpose. It seems to be at least one of the objects of the security of the emergency regulations to vest um, officials of the state, politicians, policemen, with virtually unfettered powers to deal with issues as they deem fit. So once the commissioner of police decides to seize the film of Cry Freedom, for example, his decision is virtually unassailable. And the courts have done little to allow judicial intervention in cases like that. And one of, one of the apparent objectives of the emergency regulations is to give such officials a free hand, unrestrained by judicial intervention.